Just as we keep records of important emails when we send them from an email client, so the same is true when we send them from a customer relationship management system. We need to be able to keep records of what was sent, when it was sent, and to whom. We'd like to be able to manage marketing programs, that is, ensure that every new client gets the same sequence of mail. And we'd like to manage the timing of marketing emails, that is, automate mails by selecting a set of contacts due to receive a specific marketing communication. To do any of that, we'll certainly need a database table to store the log of emails we've sent. So paste the snippet into a new code pane from project email table tmail log. And this is an SQL statement to be pasted in to our PHP MyAdmin SQL frame. It creates the table tmail log with an auto incremented ID. It has a field called mail target type, which is either a P for person or a C for company, in case we send email to everybody in a company. It has a target ID, which will be the person ID or the company ID. It has a template ID, in case we use a template. A content ID, which is the ID of the content that was pasted into the template. A subject text, which is obvious. A content text, which is the body of the message and a mail date and time, a timestamp for when it was sent. So if we copy all of that with Control A, Control C, and go to PHP My Admin, click the SQL tab and paste with Control V that SQL into the SQL pane and run the SQL. It tells us that the table tmail log has been successfully created and we'll leave that PHP My Admin sitting looking at the structure of that table. Now let's create a function to paste or to insert records into the mail log. The snippet project email fn underscore email log dot php should be saved naturally in the includes folder as fn underscore email log dot php. So we've now got a function here that takes as its arguments the fields of the fields in the table tmail log and inserts those values into those fields and returns the error message data error failed to add new mail log or no error at all if the MySQL query properly executes. We can close that and open the file tp email form from the folders directory. What we need to do now is where the email was sent. And recall this email was sent in this section here once send was clicked. So the email is sent here, but where it's sent, we want to paste this new send script underneath email sent so that if the mail is sent, then we execute the function email sent log, which we just created, with these arguments. P for person, the person ID, template 1, 0, because we're not implementing any template in this particular case, put in the subject and the message, and log the email. Save that as an updated version of T email form. And of course, we'll need to include the function email log by pasting in the include script there. So we've created the function in the file fn underscore email log. We've included the file in which that's created in the index, which we can now save. And we reference the function in our email log form by saying, if the email is properly sent, in other words, if the mail function returns true, then we'll execute the function Otherwise, we simply do our error report as usual. Let's see how that works in the browser. We'll go to the list companies, choose the pie company because we know we've got an email in there. And let's choose an email here and make sure that the email address is one that we can check. Let's change the email for Zeta Flowers to mytest at training.tmit.net. You should change it to an email address that you can collect. 
So we'll save that and now click her email link to open up the email form and type in something we can easily validate. Test 101 will do and send the email. It says email sent. Let's check the email client to see if I've got that. Collect the email and the inbox tells me, yes, I've got test 101, which has the text test 101 in the message. Hopefully you can see how by modifying this form, this script, TP email form, and by continuing to get the personal details from the tperson table, we could actually modify the form that we use to send the email, and we can modify the email sending script to personalize the email that we actually send, or even to add in a template as we did in previous lessons and make it quite attractive.